Okay. Ah, uh, so is there anything else that we have to... This is the old line. Do or put on before I really would have liked to fix this thing. It's completely annihilated. It's supposed to be directing the air into the intercooler, not to the ground, but anyways. Um, I know where to get time for that. That part's good. This is all good. We tightened that up. Headlights are in and tightened. I did the latch. We have to put that handle back on when the grill goes on, but that should be good. That's got to be fed through the bumper. So does that one. So I think we're ready for the bumper cover and the only thing that holds the bumper cover on are those seven shoulder rear bolts. Oh yeah, we need the, that we got the side yeah, for. foam would be good first, I guess. Which way so we got some dew on Which way does it go now is the question this way, I guess. Here, you hold that, I guess. This little dowel is actually going to little holes. And then the bumper cover holds it on. All right. Look at that. Bumper back. Mitchell slaps car, falls apart. <laughs> Don't slap it. <laughs> You'd wonder why your bumper's hanging. The whole thing, the rad support, <laughs> the rad, the condenser, the bumper. Why is that hanging like that? <laughs> oh yes, I forgot to tighten it. <laughs> Headlight gaps are decent. fight the fender wells together, I guess. So we're going to have to be ready in a hurry to uh, put coolant in. So did we miss anything else before we put the grill on? No. That was far too quick of a response to evaluate the situation. We don't have any, I don't know. But I don't think so. We don't have any extra fasteners that aren't. Oh, so I know what we extra. forgotten. I know what we've forgotten, Gregory. Okay, good, yeah. Yeah, the... <coughs> oh, we never cleaned that air and brake motor. I guess I'll do that. Not clean I guess I'll do that another time. When I take the battery out to do the battery box, I guess I can take that pipe off. So yeah, let's put those things on here. And you get a Phillips. Thing. That's all I want 
walk after him. You go in there. The metal was never hooked before. Had the release works. We are dearly departed. Dearly beloved. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <coughs> Marriage of one man and one car. <laughs> oh, rainy. So, the moment of truth. So yeah, the system did not bleed down the way it's supposed to. It's supposed to just kind of fall into place. We still have over a liter left to put in. So we're going to start it and then it's going to immediately drop and we're going to then fill it. We're going to try. We're going to see how that works. I don't think it's going to go very well. I think so. Let me get this jug open. Yeah, have it out. ready. Take the cap off. Be ready to watch the level. It's going to go down right away. <coughs> Can you still see where the coolant is? No. What do you mean no? Well, you can yeah, see it from here. The... As long as you're watching that when it disappears, then that's when you need to okay. put some in. Let's go. And if it's disappearing and you can't keep up, then I mean, probably, probably still okay, but yeah. <clears throat> All right, here goes nothing. Absolutely nothing. You didn't get smoked out so bad at the BMW, at least. No, it's not diesel nor burning oil, so. So we just give that a minute to air it, and then I guess we can get it down. Okay, so we're gonna get it down. And probably take it for a little drive, and we've got cooling in the trunk if we need it. And then we'll do our and final we'll thoughts after that. that. And now we're gonna go take this thing for a spin. Ready for it? Sure. Can't see you at all. <laughs> Push that mirror out. Gently hit. Oh yeah. Are we going this way or the other way? Yeah, we'll go the difficult way. Yeah, when you can't see. Of course, you guys aren't going to see much in this part of the video, but you'll just hear us making commotion if it starts leaking cool. <clears throat> I should really put my seatbelt on. Yeah, once we get out to the... The right one needs to be higher for sure, and the left one needs to be a little more left.
we're gonna try to do these after the job drives a little more often. I know we didn't do it much in early videos, but it's good to be able to give you guys like before and after kind of perspectives. So Obviously, before Greg does the stage one tune on the car, we're gonna do a video on it before and after. Yeah. Gotta make sure all the other stuff is working properly before I bother doing a tune. Though. There's still something wrong with the turbo aspect of it. So. Whether that be the boost pressure sensor or just the turbo veins are sticky. I don't know if you're on high beams or lows right now, but it should definitely be higher than it is. You should be able to see a lot further than you can. This is the after the headlight replacement, sort of. They haven't been aged yet, but... They're gonna be a lot better, I can tell that already. Yeah, they need to be a little higher. The left one needs to get over to the left side of the road. Down by the 
I hope there's no deer. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like not being able to see past the front of my nose. I mean, not that the lights were very good before, anyways. But... Yeah, well, this is like video game ride or something here. I can't freaking see anything much. Shouldn't be any deer at this point, but it's always possible. Well, it is hunting season, right? Yeah, but we can't do it after dark, so. <laughs> Okay, so I think that'll about do it for the Mark IV Jetta rad replacement video. Um, we do still need to do headlight aiming and I gotta put the belly pan back on now that we know that nothing's leaking. Um, we checked the level when we got back there, it's right up at full still, so it might still change a little bit, but it's looking good that way. Whole pile of stuff to clean up here, but um, yeah, we got through it within a day, which is good, more or less. It's after eight o'clock now, but. Anyway, if you liked the video, uh, make sure you hit like. Um, leave a comment if you got a question or something to add, or you know something to make people's lives easier if they're doing this job. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell so you know when we post new videos. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't Peace. forget to follow us on Instagram at GB Productions one. one, and on Twitter at GB Productions Six. All right. See, see you on the next one.